My name is Ojo Isaac, the manager of Prestaria Concept, located at Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. In this video, I will be showing you and talking about how to post vendor's credit memo. Vendor's credit memo. When your company buys goods from the vendor and receive the goods into store. Now discover that there are some problems with it, either it's, it's overstated or understated, or rather, is dummy. Your company will then return the goods to the vendor. You are receive it because you are receiving the goods in the store would have been increased now when you use vendors credit memo it will now reduce reduce the goods in the store and also the vendor will now be credited with some money that is to say it will now be owing your organization vendor will now be debited with that amount of money means that the vendor will now be owing your organization until when it will be utilized or he will pay to the bank and uh, issue you a deposit slip of payment so how do we do that in stage 50 is what i want to show you now so let's go to the case study and look at the questions we have there okay look at the question how to post vendors credit memo how to post vendors credit memo okay so we start with the question how to post vendors credit memo the date touch first of january 2020 the purchasing manager returned the following products to john ck john ck this the supplier Everything DVD 4 gig 10 pieces was returned to Jessica. Sony CD 700 MB 20 pieces was returned to Jessica. Okay, so let, note, let us note, note the products, the balances in the store before it was uh, returned to Jessica. Go to reports. From reports here, we select from the drop down, we select inventory reports. From inventory report display, we select inventory stock total report. Then we look at the products and the quantity that are remaining. Okay, so look at it there. RC DVD 4 gig, 4 gigabyte, we have 2840 remaining. So after we have returned, you know, we are returning, we are removing. We are removing a uh, term from here, it will become 2830. Okay, so the same thing that will happen to this very one Sony CD, several MB. After we have returned it, 20 will be less from here. Now, presently, it is 970. After we have returned 20, it will become 950. Okay, so let's post it now. So let's follow this step go to task from task menu from the drop down we we'll select vendors credit memo vendor credit memo here so from the display we we'll now select vendor id then look for the particular vendor so the question from the uh, case study says what people here by here you tell the following products to john ck so john ck is the vendor now so we we'll select john ck this just okay. Then the date of return, 31st. We select 31st. Then the due date is already there. So we'll look at uh, again the credit memo. The credit memo number 0023. Okay. So then we now enter the quantity. The quantity, the first one is 10, which is um, everything DVD. 
every single DVD, this is the only one, yeah, 10 quantity was returned. Then followed by the second one, 20, 20 pieces. So uh, that is a Sony CD, 700 MB. So you can see that they shall be posted. 20 pieces, it's already there. So the total will now become 11,000 naira that will be um, that it will appear on this credit memo, and uh, after that we will check it also on the account of uh, John C K. We're going to see this amount being reduced from, I mean, in this account. Okay. Now let's go there. So we we'll check everything if it's properly uh, set, and we click on save you can save it also and uh, and after that you will check the the effect on the reports okay so we go to reports to check the effects we click on reports from reports and forms from the drop down we select inventory from the inventory drop down we select inventory stock to report so we we'll check the first one everything the dvd look at it everything dvd it has reduced was 40 there sorry it is now 2830 so it has reduced by 10. so the other one is a uh, sony dvd sony cd several mb so it is now 950 it was 970 before so it are reduced by 20. So which means what you posted is correct. After we have checked the effect on the stock account, that is the inventory account. So the next thing we'll do is to check the effect also on the vendor's account. So let's go to report, click on report. Then from there, we'll select uh, accounts payable. On accounts payable, report. On the drop down, we we'll select a vendor ledger. The vendor ledger will look for John CK. This is John CK, the vendor who supplies these goods. Then look at him, that is it. So, this is the credit memo that we, we issued to him. That is the credit memo. Then we return the goods to him, and the value is uh, 11,000 naira. So you can see the effect here, minus 11,000 Naira. So when you see this amount on his credit uh, balance, it means that this very amount is being owned by the, the, the vendor is owing the organization this amount and is bound to pay. It means that he will pay this money. Any moment uh, he gets the, uh, the fund to do so. So this is the effect on this very particular uh, report. So this is how to post vendor's credit memo. I sincerely urge you to share and like this very particular uh, video and subscribe so that in subsequent video, you will be alerted. And from there, you will be uh, given good uh, information. Thank you.